Rocking with PettyBlog.com. This your boy Snoop D O W G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> petty and T. Oh, so they already know that I'm dropping the T. So let's get right into it. Chris Brown just dropped a crazy, 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 crazy Quavo this track. But before we get into that, let's tell y'all exactly why they're beefing. According to reports, the beef kicked off in 2017 when Quavo dated Brown's ex-girlfriend Karuchi Tran. This culminated in a heated argument between the two later that year following the BET Awards. The two traded shots once again in 2019 after Quavo won a basketball tournament. Oh wow. Takes the screen from Jack, the floater. Ah! Okay, so real quick, regarding that game that, you know, that Chris Brown was mad about that Quavo had won, which happened back in 2021, at the time, Chris Brown did call Quavo out after he won. He took to his stories and wrote the following. They knew who not to ask for on that 2 on 2 basketball. I would've cut Quavo and Jack on my soul. Guess they wanted a smoke-free zone. Ooh, not smoke-free zone. To which Quavo immediately clapped back and said, Chris Brown ain't cooking now, call next ninja. To which Chris said, ain't no next, I'm on now. Set it up, little ninja. Then he said, you know this work different. So yeah, it was some long going tension because Chris Brown definitely ain't playing with Quavo. It looked like Quavo is more cool. Didn't know Chris Brown was dead ass. But now fast forward three years later, I bet he knows now. So that was that, right? So fast forward to earlier this year, months and months ago, back in January to be exact, a clip surfaced of the two of them sitting next to each other during a fashion show in Paris. So that led fans to speculate that they were cool again. But Chris Brown quickly shut that down. He was like, under the picture saying, can't pick who you sit by. F all that grown-ish. Ninja not finna fumble my bag for a little ninjas. So boom, that was that. And maybe behind the scenes, more things happened. Clearly, you will see that more things did happen, but... Let's get to this. So that was that. And I almost forgot to mention that the funny thing is that the week before the Paris fashion show, Chris Brown was actually spotted courtside with none other than Quavo's ex-girlfriend, Saweetie. Hmm. And it's crazy because you're about to hear what he's about to say about that. Let me spoil it a little bit. That he smashed Saweetie. Okay? Yeah. That part. I was down. Then, um, on April 11, Chris Brown dropped a new song and he threw some shots at Quavo. And trust me, they were not subliminal neither. He said, effing my old bitches ain't gonna make us equal. Sipping that 1942, cause I don't do no queer vote. Fucking my old bitches ain't gonna make us equal. Sipping that 1942, cause I don't do no Quavo. Freak bitch, she like Casamigos, not the Migos. Ooh. Freak bitch, she like Casamigos, not the yeah, Chris Brown is salty about something and it's giving Karuchi. Okay, anyways, so the very next day, Quavo clapped back. Okay, yes, he did. He didn't waste no time. He dropped a song called Tender and in it he said, You did the bitch wrong and now the bitch gone. She posted with a thug, called the bitch phone. She won't come home. Don't beat her up. It must be the drugs. Need to cross out your plug. Call bitch phone. She won't come home. Don't beat her up. And then he continues on the next verse to say, Tell me, little bro, what's your issue? It's over a thought? Tell me, bro, what's your issue? It's over a thought. You said it's bigger than that. But no, it's not. You said it is bigger than that. It's big, but none of this not. It's because I be digging in that. It got him hot. Whoo, child. That was kind of nice. And he continued, I'm giving respect, but I know you not. Your bitch on my neck, your bitch at the spot. Yikes. So that had caused Chris Brown to go crazy. Now, mind you, this response from Quavo was from the 12th of this month, which was about a week ago, right? On the 19th, Chris Brown just clapped back and said the following. First of all, he started the track off playing a little snippet of, I guess, a voicemail, or maybe he was recording a conversation with Quavo of Quavo saying this. Hey, Chris. I don't want no issues, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. Now that's embarrassing. But I respect it. He don't want no smoke. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you nothing, bro. That's not a bad thing per se. Anyways, so Chris Brown said, who won't smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? And then his verse, he said, okay, let's get down to the facts. P-U-S-S-Y. I'm dripped in red. Don't let this R&B-ish fool you. Ninjas get ripped to shreds. Quavo talking like he a thug, ninja, you a B-I-T-C-H with dreads. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga, you a bitch with dreads. 
Can't wait to see the day that you back up all that ish you said. What's all that boss ish you talking? You ain't no honcho, ninja. You the weakest link out your click. Let's keep it a hundo, ninja. You effed my ex ho? That's cool. I don't give no F, little ninja. You fuck my ex ho? That's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I effed your ex when you were still with her. B I T C H, I'm up, little ninja. Cause I fucked your ex when you were still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that ish. Revenge is sweet. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that ish. Crack, crack, crack. I had her fiending about that D. There's something sweet about that ish. I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that ish. Ooh. I got some tea about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on the detonator. I ish on ninjas, I'm a defecator. I put amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls, you was beating bitches on the elevator. Yikes. I put amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls, you was beating bitches on the elevator. Seen the tapes? That's devastating. You doing bad, you a BITCH and your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ash. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. Lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money up, boy, I woulda broke you in half. You're trying to be tough. You ain't like that. Why you keep showing off? Quit talk about drugs, you the only pack that I been smoking on. Don DeMarco. Bang, 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 bang. Nah, but um, that was me, but yeah. So then he said, I just hit my plug, told him come back, I'ma need more than one. Your last album was a weed tray. Just some BS that we roll up on. You know what's on. Put you to bed, night, night, that's to the fed. Show me that I'm tender, B-I-T-C-H, time to prove what you said. R.I.P. take off, he the only real one, I got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You tripping, Chris, don't say that, don't lose your head. Damn, you done turned the big bad wolf on. These F ninjas never knew revenge. This what happens when the F ninja push a real ninja out to the edge. This what happens when a dumb ninja get fame and they get to his head. You gonna kiss this ring, ninja? Big F for you from my middle finger. I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beef to your dinner table. My mental ain't ever stable. I know this ish gon' sting, ninja. I run your ass through the ringer, ninja. You just got body by a singer, ninja. I run your ass through the ringer, nigga. You just got body by a singer, nigga. Bitch. Wow. Why would he annihilate Quavo like that? Like, is it that deep? Is it really over just these girls? Like, is it really over Karuchi? And Chris, not you F. Saweetie while she was still with Quavo. That's crazy. And what tea she gave you? We want to know. Let us know. <laughs> but Breezy is and been out rapping rappers. And that's just for in case y'all forgot. I'm done. And just look at the artwork that Chris Brown chose for his Quavo diss. He's trying to be petty. I mean, he's being petty. And if you're wondering where that's from, it's from when Quavo was eating the glizzy, aka a hot dog, that he claims cost $100,000. Yeah, okay. $100,000 glizzy. <laughs> But yeah, what are y'all thinking about this? We really want to know, so leave your thoughts below. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing out.